I'm Sebastian St. James. You are retiring in the wrong country. Some countries people are retiring in poverty. Other countries people are retiring rich. But which is which? Are you going to retire in a country where you retire like a king or where you have to rely on welfare handouts? I have a list which I've prepared which is the worst and the best countries you can possibly retire in. I'll let you know. This list is right up to date as of today. Is your country going to be a winner or is it going to be a sad loser? This list comes directly from the OECD. The OECD stands for the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development. But of course you knew that. The OECD defines poverty and people retiring in poverty as the following. You get the national median, whatever that happens to be, chop it in half. And if you are that level or below, then you are in poverty according to the OECD. So poverty changes according to which country you're in. That kind of makes sense because some things are very expensive in really expensive countries like Australia, for example, and other places say take like Mexico, things are a lot cheaper. So you don't need as much money to live in certain other countries. So for example, if your national median income is $50,000, halve that, then the poverty line is 25K. As a rule of thumb, to retire in, you need about two thirds of your pre-retirement income. Two thirds. So if we go down to 50%, then of course you've dropped quite a lot. Uh, according to the OECD, this is the worst country to retire in. And here it is. It's a lovely green little country. It has Seoul as its capital and a huge road network. As far as I can see, what is this country? What do you think it is? It is of course Korea. Now, when I talk about Korea, of course, I'm talking about South Korea because North Korea is not a part of the OECD. South Korea is famous for the land of kimchi, K-pop, tech giant Samsung, Hyundai, and Korean fried rice, and of course, Gangnam Style. According to the internet, according to the OECD, Korea has an average income per capita of 25,590 US or 34,672 Australian dollars. The poverty line, therefore, is, remember, it's 50%, 12,295 US or 17,336 dollar dues. 43.4% of retirees live in poverty. Now, I'm just listing off countries here. This is a finance channel. We're not making value judgments. We accept people from all countries here. Our next country, wow, what is this called? It has a capital of Riga and some other places which I can't pronounce. Ah, oh, this must be Latvia. Latvia is famous for the Rundal Palace, other fortresses and palatial highlights such as the Turada Stone Castle, the Castle of Cecis. Okay, so I'm a finance channel. I'm bound to mispronounce half of these words. That's okay. And the Dugvapils Fortress. In Latvia, 39% of retirees live in poverty. What is this curious country here? Can you guess? That's the capital up the top. It's got a lovely bumpy coastline there. I'm going to tell you in three, two, one, Estonia. That's what it is. Did you get that right? Estonia is famous for its dense woods, its charming historic center of Tallinn. In recent years, the Baltic nation has seen a boom in tourism and even implemented a digital nomad visa for those who are looking to stick around for the long term. The average income in Estonia is 23K or 33 Australian dollars. The poverty line is therefore $11,000 or 16K Australian. 37.6% of retirees live in poverty. And what is this country? I have crudely blocked out the name of this country and I do mean very crudely. Any guesses what this could be? No prizes for guessing this, of course, is Mexico. Mexico is famous for spicy cuisine, festive drinks, and some of the best beaches in the world, according to the internet. The average income is 16K or 22,000 kangaroo dollars. Poverty line is therefore 8K or 11,000 Australian. 26.6% .6 of retirees live in poverty. And what's our next country? It has a curious capital city there. What's your guess? I'll give you three. Two, one, what is it? Come on. This is Lithuania. Lithuania is famous for its landscape, its flatlands, abundant forests, lakes and marshes, the seaside with its sandy beaches where amber may be found. So amber is tree sap that's gone harden. 
The average income is a secret. Oh no, what's happened? The OECD has a list of the percentage of people who are in poverty in each country. They have a separate list giving me the average income, but there's one or two countries where they haven't put the average income on that list. Now I could look it up and tell you what the average income is in this particular country, but it's not taken from exactly the same list. So who knows whether the figures are right or wrong. So if the figure is missing, I will just exclude it so that all the figures that we've got here are exactly the same snapshot, exactly the same period of time. 25.2% of retirees live in poverty in Lithuania. And here is an interesting country, or is it an island? It's hard to tell. Hmm, what could that possibly be? There's an Adelaide, a Melbourne, a Queensland. What do you think it is? Oh, of course, that's Australia. That's my country. Australia is famous for the Sydney Opera House, Bondi Beach, the Great Barrier Reef, Sydney Harbour Bridge and the Great Ocean Road, according to the internet, but that sounds right. What about kangaroos? We're famous for them too. The average income in Australia is 37k US or 52.7 Australian dollars. The poverty line is therefore 18.7 US or 26.3 Australian dollars. 23.7 of retirees live in poverty. 23.7? No! That's an awful lot in my country. It must be lining up on the streets. Our next country. Oh no, it's had something chopped out of it. Yes, that's the name. It's got Albuquerque, Las Vegas, Dallas, Phoenix. Oh, where could this possibly be? It is of course the United States. There we go. I think we all knew that. The United States is famous for the Grand Canyon, tech innovation, famous movies, television shows and music, according to the internet. But I think I agree with that. The average income is 51k US or 72 Australian dollars. The poverty line is therefore is 25k or 36 Australian. 23.1% of retirees live in poverty. So the percentage of people that live in the US is slightly less, but it's about the same as the percentage that live in Australia. And we have basically free medical. What's going on? In our next country, ooh, where could this be? I have Beaufort West, there's a George, hmm, any guesses? Three, two, one, oh, it's South Africa. South Africa is famous for mining and minerals and considered the world's leader with nearly 90% of all the platinum metals on earth. The average income is 9,000 US or 13,000 Australian. The poverty line is therefore 4.6K US or 6.5K Australian. 20.7% of retirees live in poverty. Our next country, where could this be? We have a Jerusalem, a bit of a West Bank, a Tel Aviv. Any guesses? Of course, this is Israel. Israel is famous for being a Jewish country, the Dead Sea Scrolls, military forces, religious sites, and the Western Wall, according to the internet. The average income is 27.7 US or 39K Australian. The poverty line is 13.8 US or 19K Australian. 20.6% of retirees live in poverty. What's this next country? Well, it has Osaka, it has Tokyo. The name is chopped out. What do you think? This is, of course, Japan. Japan is famous for geisha, tea ceremonies, sumo wrestling, samurai, and ninja, according to the internet. The average income is 28.8 US dollars or 40K Australian. The poverty line is 14.4 US dollars or 20.3 Australian. 20% of Japanese retirees live in poverty, according to the OECD. Here is another country, it's tall and skinny. What could it be? Well, it has a few names I can't pronounce. What is it? Three, two, one. Ah, oh, this is Chile. Chile is famous for wine and beer, Easter Island, vibrant street art, the world's largest swimming pool and the tallest building in South America. The average income is 18.4 thousand US or 26K Australian dollars. The poverty line is 9.2 thousand US or 13K Australian. 17.6% of retirees live in poverty. Our next country is, well, San Jose, Buenos Aires, yes. What country is this? Well, it is Costa Rica. Costa Rica is famous for its national parks, river rafting, canyoning, cave tubing, zip lining, macaws, that's a parrot thing, sea turtles, and adorable sloths. I'm sure they are adorable. The average income, well, that is a secret, unfortunately. Once again, it's not on the OECD's list. 17% of retirees live in poverty.
And our next country, well, Bern, this is Zurich. What could this possibly be? This, of course, is Switzerland. Switzerland is famous for Heidi, the classic orphan story. Wouldn't you just love being famous for an orphan story? Fondue, which is the dipping food in cheese, chocolate, and watches. Its average income is 39k US or 55k Australian. The poverty line is 19.8 US or 27k Australian. 16.5% of retirees live in poverty, so we're getting considerably better. This is sorted on the order of greatest number of people in poverty right up to the best, the fewest people in poverty, and not necessarily the amount that you need in each country, although I'm giving you all the figures so you can factor that in yourself. It's all here. In our next country it is, oh, what could this possibly be? Any guesses? Isle of Man, this strange name, England, London, Wales, Edinburgh. Ah, oh, of course, this is the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is famous for soccer, rugby, cricket, boxing, golf, William Shakespeare, Charles Dickens, and Robert Burns. Just to name a few. The average income is 33k US or 46k Australian dollars. Poverty line is 16.5 US dollars or 23k Australian. 15.5% of retirees live in poverty. That's the figures. The next country is, oh, what's this? This is the OECD. Okay, so this is the OECD average. All the countries that have come before are below average, including Australia. All the ones which are coming now are above average. Okay, so. These are the places you want to live. The average income for the OECD is 30K US dollars or 42.9 Australian. The poverty line therefore is 15K US dollars or 21K didgeridoos. 13.1% of retirees live in poverty on average, right across the board. Part of retiring successfully is to accumulate enough money in the first place, knowing how to make it grow, which is perhaps one of the most important steps. I've got a video coming out on that shortly, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Our next country, oh, what could this be? It's got a Warsaw, yes, a Krakow. Any guesses? This, of course, is Poland. Poland is famous for beautiful cities, stately castles, the Wiklika salt mine, perhaps? Pope John Paul II, the Lower Odo Valley International Park, according to the internet. The average income is 23K US dollars or 33K in kangaroo dollars. The poverty line is 11K US dollars or 16K Australian. 12.8% of retirees live in poverty. So it's about half of what Australia has. So well done, Poland. Our next country is, oh, what could this be? There's a Manitoba and Alberta. Ontario, any guesses? This, of course, is Canada. Canada is famous for ice hockey, maple syrup, politeness. Oh, aren't you a sweet country? Stunning landscapes, northern lights, poutine. So poutine is some fries which you cover with cheese and gravy. Sounds like a coronary heart attack to me. And the national flag, which of course is the maple leaf. The average income is 34K US or 48K Australian dollars. What's that in Canadian dollars? We'll never know. The poverty line is 17K US or 24K Australian. 12.3% of retirees live in poverty. Of course, they're too polite to have any more. In our next country, it is, goodness me, do you know what this country is? Have a look around. Seems fairly large. The answer is, last chance, this is Slovenia. Slovenia is famous for its beautiful landscapes, lakes, and the best ski resorts into Europe, if they don't say so themselves, according to the internet. The average income there is 25K US dollars or 35K Australian. Poverty line is 12K US dollars or 17K Australian. 12.1% of retirees are living in poverty. Our next country is, well, it's massive. We have the Kara Sea at the top. On the left, we have Finland. We have a city called Moscow. In Australia, we call it Moscow. In the US, they call it Moscow. Now, if you are Slavic, if you actually know, how do they pronounce Moscow in Russia? I'd love to know, leave a comment below. This is the Russian Federation, as the OECD is calling it. The Russian Federation is famous for extensive mineral and energy resources, and it's the world's largest producer of oil and natural gas globally. The average income there is 19K US dollars or 27K Australian. The poverty line is 9K US dollars or 13K Australian. 
12% of retirees live in poverty. Our next country is, well, it's tall and thin. It has Stockholm as its capital. <gasps> what could it possibly be? Well, that, of course, is Sweden. Sweden is famous for ABBA, Spotify, IKEA, Swedish meatballs, Roxette, Volvo, and Saab. According to the internet, the average income is 33k US or 47 Australian. The poverty line is 16k US or 23 Australian. 11.4% of retirees live in poverty. Not too bad. Our next country is, well, it's long and thin. It has Rome, Naples, Florence, any guesses? This, of course, is Italy. Italy is famous for the Renaissance, the incredible artists it produced, tourism, opera, its fashion, and luxury brands, according to the internet. The average income is 29k US or 41k Australian. The poverty line is 14k US or 20k Australian. 11.3% of retirees live in poverty. Our next country is, goodness me, that could be anywhere. Any guesses? What do you think? This is, of course, Turkey. Turkey is famous for hot air balloons, a cotton castle, Turkish coffee, the biggest city in the world that spans two continents. It spans Europe and Asia. I think that's Istanbul, or is it Constantinople? The average income is 19K US or 27K Australian. The poverty line is 9K US or 13K Australian. 11.1% of retirees live in poverty. Our next country is, well, where could this possibly be? I've been to this country. It has Auckland up the top, Christchurch, Wellington. Hmm, is this the land of the long white cloud? It certainly is. This is New Zealand. New Zealand is famous for its national rugby team, the All Blacks, its indigenous Maori culture, its picturesque landscape and sheep. I may have added that one. Its average income is 39k US or 55k Australian. Its poverty line is 19k US or 27k Australian. 10.6% of retirees live in poverty. Australia was about 23% somewhere there. You're right down to the 10%. I need to move at once. In our next country, which is massive, it has Prague in the middle. Oh, what could this be? Any guesses? Three, two, one. This is the Czech Republic. The Czech Republic is famous for Prague, castles, chateaus, and mansions. The average income is 26K US or 37K Australian. The poverty line is 13K US dollars or 18K Australian. 10.4% of retirees live in poverty. Our next country is, well, I've chopped off the name in the middle. It has Madrid. That should be a bit of a clue for you. Any guesses? It is, of course, Spain. Spain is famous for bullfighting, tapas, flamenco, paella, according to the internet. The average income is 27k US dollars, 38k Australian. The poverty line is 13k US or 19k Australian. 10.2% of retirees live in poverty. Well done, Spain. In our next country, it is Munich. Yes, but that's not where we are. We're sort of southeast of that, I think. Where could this possibly be? Any guesses? This, of course, is Austria. Austria is famous for the Alps, which cover 62% of the country. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, skiing, Red Bull, Wiener Schnitzel, and some sort of chocolate cake. The average income is 37k US or 52k Australian. The poverty line is 18k US or 26k Australian. 10% of retirees live in poverty and Arnold Schwarzenegger is not one of them. Our next country, what could this be? The name has been chopped out. It has a Frankfurt, it has a Munich, it has a Berlin. It is therefore Germany. Germany is famous for beer, bread and sausages, palaces and castles, cathedrals and monuments, festivals and cars. According to the internet, the average income is 38k US or 54k Australian. The poverty line is 19k US or 27k Australian. 9.1% of Germans live in poverty, according to the OECD. Our next country is long and thin. It's had its name chopped out. It has Lisbon. It has Porto. What could this possibly be? Could it be? Yes, it is in fact Portugal. Portugal is famous for its seafood dishes, beach destinations, architecture, soccer legend, Fado music, and port wine. Yes, port comes from Portugal. It's pretty obvious. 
its average income is 24k US or 35k Australian. The poverty line is 12k US or 17k Australian. 9% of retirees live in poverty, according to the OECD. Our next country, what could that be? It has Brussels, Antwerp. Yes, there's a quite a few clues in there for you. It is, of course, Belgium. Belgium is famous for its chocolate, waffles, beer, NATO headquarters, the EU Commission and European Parliament often referred to the capital of the EU. And not to forget Brussels sprouts, which hopefully came from Brussels. The average income is 34k US or 49k Australian. The poverty line is 17k US or 24k Australian. 8.5% of retirees live in poverty, so you go on the streets, you'd never see them. In our next country, well, what is this? Interesting, in a language which I can't read. Any clues there for you? What do you think it might be? Oh, this is Greece. Greece is famous for democracy, the Olympic Games, the Greek Pantheon, Olympic gods, Socrates, science, medicine, theatre and map making. So basically everything in the world came from Greece, according to the internet. The average income is 20k US or 29k Australian. The poverty line is 10k US or 14k Australian. 7.5% of retirees live in poverty. In our next country, which has had the name chopped out, it has a Dublin, it has a Limerick and a Cork. Any guesses what that might be? That, of course, is Ireland. Ireland is famous for the Emerald Island. Shades of green, that's right, they invented green. St Patrick's Day, shamrocks. Leprechauns, Guinness, Irish whiskey, and Irish coffee. The average income is 29k US or 41k Australian. The poverty line is 14k US or 20k Australian. 7.4% of retirees live in poverty. Our next country is, well, it's tall and thin. The name's been chopped out. It has a Helsinki down the bottom. Any guesses? Three, two, one. Oh, that's Finland. Finland is famous for being the happiest country in the world. Who wrote this? The Finnish? I suspect so. World's best education. Definitely written by the Finnish. Saunas, reindeers, Nokia, and the Santa Claus village, according to the internet. The average income is 33K US or 47K Australian. The poverty line is 16K US or 23K Australian. 7.2% of retirees live in poverty, so hardly any at all. Our next country is, oh, name redacted. Can you read them there? What do you think it is? Any clues? Three, two, one. Ah, oh, that's Luxembourg. Luxembourg is famous for being the second richest country in the world. Who's the richest country in the world? Hmm. We'll never know. A network of underground tunnels and for having three national languages. Can you name them? The average income is 44k US dollars or 63k Australian. The poverty line is 22k US or 31k Australian. 7.1% of retirees live in poverty. Our next country is, well, it's massive. What is it? It's got some names there. What do you think it is? Any clues? Ah, oh, that's a Slovak Republic. The Slovak Republic is famous for 180 castles. 180? 425 chateaus, the world's highest number of castles and chateaus per capita. Clearly. Wow, that must have had quite a storied past. The average income is 21k US or 29k Australian. The poverty line is 10k US or 14k Australian. 5% of retirees live in poverty. This is amazingly low, like that's basically hardly anybody. Interesting figures. Our next country is, well, it has a Budapest in it. What do you think it might be? Any clues there for you? It, of course, is Hungary. Hungary is famous for the Rubik's Cube in 1974. 13 Nobel Prize winners. Wow, I wonder if that's the most. And the magician Harry Houdini was also born in the country's capital, Budapest. That's quite a list. The average income is 21k US or 29k Australian. The poverty line is 10k US or 14k Australian. 4.9% of retirees live in poverty. Well done. Our next country is, oh, name redacted. It has Lyon, Toulouse, Paris. Oh, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? This is France. France is famous for the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, Notre Dame de Paris, the Palace of Versailles, Moulin Rouge, fashion, and fine wine, to name just a few. 
The average income is 34k US dollars or 48k Australian. Now, obviously, half of these countries we mentioned actually have the currency in euros. To keep these standardized across the board, we're only dealing with US dollars and Australian. Of course, they have their own local currency. We know that. The poverty line is 17k US or 24k Australian. 4.4% of retirees live in poverty. The next country is, oh, look at that wiggly, wiggly coastline. It is west of Sweden. What could it possibly be? It has a town called Oslo. It is therefore Norway. Norway is famous for the land of the midnight sun, fjords, lakes, Vikings and folklore, oil production and Tesla drivers. Norway has some sort of government scheme that makes electric cars considerably cheaper. And it is full of Teslas. The average income is 29k US or 55k Australian. The poverty line is 19k US or 27k Australian. 4.3% of retirees live in poverty, which is hardly any. Our next country is, well it has a Rotterdam, The Hague. What could it possibly be? It is of course, the Netherlands. The Netherlands is famous for cheese, wooden shoes, clogs, windmills, tulips, coffee shops, canals, bicycles, DJs, and painters, to name just a few. The average income is 34k US or 49k Australian. The poverty line is 17k US or 24k Australian. 3.1% of retirees live in poverty. That's hardly any at all. Our next country is, well, it's a great big island with lots of white on it. Hint, hint, there could be a clue there for you. It has Reykjavik. What could it be? Three, two, one. Oh, this is Iceland. Iceland is famous for being called the land of fire and ice because of the volcanoes and glaciers, the Blue Lagoon and Detafoss waterfall. Well, that's how I pronounce it. The average income is 37k US or 52k Australian. The poverty line is 18k US or 26k Australian. 3.1% of retirees live in poverty. What country could this be? Name redacted. Do you recognize anything in there? Last chance, three, two, one. This is Denmark. This is the lowest poverty country in the whole of the OECD. This is the number one. This is it, we have arrived. Denmark is famous for its high quality design and architecture. Arnie Jakobsen's egg chair, the Royal Opera House in Sydney. Why is it in Sydney? When we're talking about Denmark, I think the designer came from Denmark. The average income is 33K US or 47K Australian. The poverty line is 16K US or 23K Australian. 3% of retirees live in poverty. 3%, that's it, that's as good as it gets. Apparently you can drive for miles and miles without seeing a retiree in poverty. So you have all the figures in front of you. All the OECD countries, you know exactly what percentage of retirees in each country is in poverty, and you know the average amounts that you'll need to live in each country. So, which is your favorite country? Let me know in the comments below. And could you afford to live there? I'm going to pick mine and move tomorrow. So you have all the countries right in front of you. You know the perfect country that you can possibly retire in. Whether they let you in is another matter. But there's one thing you need to get right first. Otherwise, you will fail retirement. I've done a video on that. Go ahead and click on it here.